More and more level 10, folks! What's going on, Shadow Fighters? It's Boss Mod right here, and welcome back to another video of Shadow Fight Arena. We're gonna be embracing another level 10 character while speaking. Let's actually check the roster. Let's see who we're gonna be leveling up here today. Hmm. Although I've made a thumbnail that actually says it's gonna be leveling up, but it's at this moment where I'm gonna be choosing who I wanna level up. Why don't we? We have three comments. And two rares. We can either even it out by choosing one common, then we have equal amount of rare and common upgrades remaining, or we can choose one rare so you have way less compared to all the common upgrades remaining. Well, for this video, I want to go with the Felcher upgrade because Felcher can be neat, Felcher can be dangerous, Felcher can be a prick, of course, because he can prick people, that's what it is. For this one, I'm going to be using Lockdown. Because I already have a build that I want to go out with him, the Felcher himself. Usually I can see people use Impulse and Naginata Flight because they go together and you can run them over with the rest of the shadow abilities if you manage to execute their Impulse and Naginata Flight. That's kind of like the offensive variety, but another offensive-ish variety is to try to take away their main battle plan. In a similar manner as Kate, but instead of draining the shadow energy, you basically make sure your opponent does not get more shadow energy and also make sure they won't be able to enter shadow form that is the whole idea and now their opponent that emperor with this shadow form can get run over by any attack and they will take extra damage of course I have to take precaution of that but beforehand I can take away Chong's main gameplay because he is relying on to gain shadow energy and since songs can have shadow genesis I can stop it by simply doing an attack with this kind of setup that I have right here. Featurino, painful neutralization, along with shadow suppression uh, in case the opponent has full bar and I neutralize them, I can keep them neutralized in the same bar, even though that can be done without using the without using the, any more modifications to the neutralization, but uh, we're doing it anyways to make it a little bit more efficient. So yeah, Shadow Suppression, just to deal more damage, be more dangerous, even though the opponent, your opponent, has more sh Shadow Energy, has a full bar. Suppressing Explosion? Could have gone for countermeasures to switch roles, but Suppressing Explosion can interrupt other people's uses of Shadow Energy and therefore knock whoever out of it. And therefore, Suppressing Explo Explosion can be used Whenever you would actually wish you could be using it, it can fit for many hit situations. Total neutralization, which is to stop the opponent from getting shadow energy. That is the modification I was talking about. You don't need total neutralization, but it can be neat if you want to prevent them from getting any more shadow energy. But that could also contradict the purpose of using shadow suppression. But who knows if the opponent somehow gets into the full bar, but you just neutralize them. Just before they enter shadow form, that's where the shadow suppression can slide by. Acts like a prelude, it's like a pre extra damage to the actual extra damage that will be landed on to the opponent if you your opponent was in shadow form and you hit them. But we're still going for this to actually cover whatever case that might be with the opponent. And for the last but not least, we got lockdown so that we can prolong the neutralization meaning that the opponent cannot just stay defensive all the time because they won't be getting shadow energy they won't be getting those blue stuff man they won't be getting anything featuring over a squad today maybe we should can maybe we can do some anti-shadow squad or something i'm not entirely sure we could go with azuma i had several jack videos so i can take a break from jack let's do some more ironclad i didn't even get a good show on ironclad but i did some more good shows off cam therefore i wanted to use ironclad and last but not least perhaps the level nine or level 8 I'm not entirely sure but looking around things maybe we should do <laughs> maybe we should do an anti-shadow I'm not entirely sure though we have Helga for instance she's kind of like anti-shadow because she smites her opponent whenever they're in shadow form and she can have light in the shadows you no know, light in the darkness I think it was called which deal which gives her a sphere of uh, burning damage to enemies who are in shadow form 
Hmm, I, I'm not sure, but I still want to go with level 10 because level 10 gives the maximum of fray and fun. Though you guys have already noticed that I used a level 9 Kibo before I even got into picking a squad. So, we're gonna be in case we go all out offensive with Yuka. The last resort of actually becoming a total bully to our opponent. Now for the builds, I'm not even sure if I want to do any kind of builds right here. I'm going to try again with this, and then we use Asuma's build right here that we have. Yuka though, maybe change a little bit of hers? I'm not entirely sure though. We got quick shade so Jane can return a little bit faster, or deep wounds so that the wounds last longer. We could go for an anti-shuttle factor with shade, since we have shade and we can have hungry shade. That could, that could do, like we, we do small modification right there, pair with Shay's loyalty, you can have Yuka that constantly falls, but also have the ability to drain some shadow energy from the opponent. A little bit of that. And uh, numerous wounds or cat training, I will still go for numerous wounds, even though morale boost will really help me out right there. But that could, that could also mean since that actually shows hungry shade, I could then go for cat training. And then looks like we're actually going to be going left side so we can like quicker shade. Not sure about sharpen claws because that means shade will always trigger gelatine. And I kind of don't really want that to happen. I want shade to be used as a basic attack utility, not a gelatine trigger utility. A, not a gelatine trigger utility mod to basic basic attack utility get it he can use he can use block break surprises denials all of that all of that stuff even combos therefore the shade itself can be deadly so i'm still going for fresh wounds to prolong those wounds if needed if needed to pressure the opponents and actually give them a little bit of more pressure so i think we got the build the kind of anti-shadow build for yuka right here without anything further to say let's try out the squad who we got here? Oh, we got someone right here. Well, well, well. Use Asuma, Mr. Mr. Boy Asuma, and this sucker be choosing Emperor. He thought it's gonna get this luxury of turning into the beast. Well, too bad for you. You're gonna be facing lockdown and all of the bad stuff is gonna be happening to you. Hello, I also say hello. And now I'm gonna jump onto you and you dodge that. Imagine dodging that. My dude. Why are you trying to dodge? Alright. Do this. Oh, never mind. He actually does stuff. My god, this combos. Alright, there we go. Now we got him. Never mind. He actually does stuff. My goodness. Dude. What the is this? Alright, I don't need to. Okay, never mind. Are you joking me? I'm literally about to lose Asuma? Yeah. I lost Asuma, alright. That was pretty pity. So therefore, we can always say we can always try to use our bulky man right here. To to run the show, to continue the show. Well, so much for that Asuma. This guy actually had tactics. And not just like short time tactics, if you guys get what I mean. Alright. I guess that's what you want. Wait, is it? Is it? Wait, I think it's this controller that's actually a bug. It's either that or is he trying to troll me right here? I think it's a controller that's bug, which is actually pity. Because look, he doesn't move. Usually he should be able to move, or is it like he kind of gives away the win? I'll figure it out. If he quickly, if he quickly taps, that's just because he. Let's see now. Or maybe he can choose. No. I think his controls, I think his game is bugged. That also happened to me in one of the rounds where I couldn't control anything. And now it looks like, wait, was it auto select or was it actually him managing to tap finally in a manner? I don't know what exactly might be though. Let me see him. Let me see him go. Wow, now he goes. Okay, so. Let's see what he's doing, man. Let's see what he's doing. Alright, so what are you yeah. doing? There we go, so we do this, and then we do this, 
And then we do this. And then we do this, because we don't care about the cat. And then we launch our attack. Don't do some inconvenient attacks. Alright, upper. Booyah, that's how we do Iron Clan, my dude. Alright, do that. And then we walk back. If you do go me down to 30, it's gonna be trouble, man. It's gonna be trouble. See, I think we're gonna be down to 30 very soon. Alright. Never mind. He actually plays nuclear really nasty. Oh! Oh, I managed to knock her out. Holy moly. My goodness, man. Bonk, bonk. Who's in the head? It's an head. What a joke. Managed to actually knock her out before she even launched her cat, man. Wonders. You're welcome, sucker. You're not gonna be living that long with her, you know? Alright. 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 Oh, yeah. And then do this. And then do this. Okay. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Wait, 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 wait. What's he doing? What is he doing? Look at that. Oh! Look at that hit! We're still alive, my dudes. Then do this. Continue. We can't even take more hits, my dudes. Oh, look at the tankiness of Iron Clan, my dude. Dang! No wonder he's a freaking troll. Oh, I'm down to 13 HP. Dang, man. I even lowered him in such a manner, my dude. I lowered him in such a manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much for dealing with his chat, my dude. So much for dealing with the tin can that can do a lot of stuff. Now let's see what you can do right here. Let's see what you even think of. Yep, you're already getting caught. That's a bonk bonk to you, my sucker. Look at that. Looks like we actually ended this one for today. <laughs> he was surrendered. He knew he was gonna get his his ling run over, man. He knew he was gonna get his ring ling run over after discovering what actually happened to him. Well, well, so much for that battle. Getting away with that victory. Sad we couldn't even do a lot with Asuma. I hope that we can actually do better with him in the coming battle. Dude, I don't know how many times I actually faced the sucker Hinata right here. But let's see what he's up to. Going for another goal, perhaps I can get revenge on this video. Now, I can tell you that I actually got revenge on him. Off camera. It's a couple of times, but let's see if he can beat me or not. He might be, who knows. We just have to wait and see what he's planning to do. Instead, I get that. Alright. So he does a lot of stuff to me. No good. Alright, we got him. We got him. We got him now. Just gotta stop the Shadow Demon from getting Shadow Energy. There we go. Wait a little bit. My goodness. Got him. You do this. He's gonna do the kick. Yes, yeah, sir. You do the kick, my dude. You do the kick. I'll do extra damage to you. That's how we do it, man. Oh yeah, getting rid of your links, man. Getting rid of your links. Not getting easy off with that Azuma, no. Not getting easy off when you're fighting against my little Azuma right here. He got some nasty tactics he can do. I mean, links is level ten. Level ten tactics can also be very nasty, especially when you choose unrivaled assassin and actually go for the bomb combos. If you hit, it actually cool downs. It actually shortens cool down to like seventy-five percent or so, like not a total cool down. Oh. My goodness, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yo, I thought it was going to be good for Angelic form. Dude, it's going all aggressive as well. Look. Going good. Look, 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 look. Going test either. My goodness. Oh. Alright. What are you thinking, my dude? Uh oh. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, he literally... Sucker be actually catching me all the time. Oh, thank goodness, actually, he tried to catch those attacks. Oh! <laughs> kind of left another cliffhanger right there, not gonna lie. Well, at least I managed to take out Lynx, but I didn't do... I almost got out with Helga right there. Alright, we have a secondary solution for that. Mr. Punching himself. Haven't done a big show, but we sure did, so I must say, the last round. So let me see if we can put up a show right here as well. Where's your first move? Yeah. Alright. Man, he always he always fools me with that somehow. Which is pity. Very pity indeed. Now what are you doing? Alright. Dude, why can I not be able to try to catch that sucker, man? You know? Alright. There we go. Now nah, I'm catched yet! Yeah. See what I mean right there? Can't believe that they actually managed to catch me so many times, my dude! Yeah, we got you now. We got you now, yeah. And you kind of spoof. You spoof, my dude. You spoof, my dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait all day. I can just jump kick at you. Wait a little bit. Oh, crudeness, goodness, goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's going for that. Booyah. Don't need to take it as much longer than it can be. Don't need to extend the battle longer than it needs to be, man. I think I gotta reference the Norway vs. Wien video right here. Let me show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna reference the Norway vs. Sweden video right here. Let's see what we can do. Yoink! Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> he didn't even hit me. My goodness, man. Dude, what is that? That's bullying. Yeah, you back off, man. You back off. Look at that. You're not messing with a shot. You're not messing with a punchy. No nah, man, you just you just don't mess. Don't mess, my dude. I still try to do a attack. Look at how much health he had to take, though. Yeah, you go for that, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I see your tactics, man. You like doing that. Goodbye, he not that. Looks like I got my revenge on this recording. Thank you at least for trying to play the way you play, though. I just took away your playbook now this time. Not gonna go away that easy now, come on. Paddle the Beast. Well, well I can say, Asuma can do a lot of stuff to the whole entire squad that he have right there. Prevent them from going to Shadow Energy. If I prevent Lynx from getting to Shadow, Shadow Energy, he will not be able to trigger the bomb mark that he usually puts onto me. And for the Beast, well, if I keep doing slashing beforehand, he's not gonna be... Getting to the beast, and if he still gets into the beast, I can always prevent him from getting more shadow energy or doing shadow ability, and then be able to deal extra damage like that. You fought so, sucker, huh? You fought so. I'm doing a classic going at you throw. Look at that. Oh, he actually managed to catch it off right there. Nah, man, not happening. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You spam me that, my dude. All right. Oh yeah. Wait a little bit. Yeah, wait for you to do those attacks. Come on, man! I thought I catch this guy, dude. Yeah, now he doesn't go for aerial. Okay. There we go. Gotta leave him back for some damage. Could have actually done an evil laughter emote. That's what I actually should have done. Just left him there and, and did that laugh taunt because he was gonna get knocked anyways. Power of blocking and actually extending the, the power of blocking uh, getting shadow energy surely is something. It's the way to battle plan, of course. Alright. Never mind. I want to make sure he doesn't get anything out of this. Oh, that's dangerous, my dude. Look at that. Go back. Look at that. He does that. I keep doing this. And 
he was a little bit more clever now. Thank goodness, man. <laughs> could, this could have been going more thrilling. Now, actually, let's try Yuka this time. I haven't even shown my Yuka build at all. I've only been trying to smash suckers with Ironclad at this point. But now let's actually try Yuka and the Shadow Energy Dreamy build. Since we lost the sumo, you can always go out like this now. So let's see what your first plan is. It's to roll back. Alright. Look at that. Looks like you're getting some trouble at this point. Yep. Alright, there. Look at that, look at that. Oh, we lost our cat, dang it. Not happening. Oh, wow. Alright, alright. Looks like he got me right there. Let's do that. Wait, what? Alright. Alright, let's, let's go back. Do that. Do this. Wait for him to bleed out. Oh, wait, wait, it's Gillotine, I forgot. He doesn't get bleeding. I forgot, man, let me heal. <laughs> what were you trying, man? We are all standing past and bullying each other by looking. My goodness, man. It's like, it's like being a, it's being like a... A little break and then say, Oi, hey, you! Hey, you! Come on, man! Just get close! Just walk, just walk a little bit! Just step by! <laughs> and both of us could be saying, saying to each other the same way, my dude. Alright. What are you doing? Yeah, I just gotta drain your shadow energy, that's all. Oh, he actually timed it. That's not something I see very often. I wait for a time, but man, are you gonna be rolling back 24 7, huh? Huh? Dang, man, you actually did something! Holy moly! My goodness! Time to get smashed! <laughs> My goodness, man. You were so good, but now you're gonna face the tin can! Now your ninja from Brazil is gonna face the tin can. That's what it is. All right, let's see what you're doing. All right. C C C C C C C C. E E E E. Look at that. You're that damage, man. Oh my goodness, he actually managed to do an attack, even though I like slightly went at him. He only knows how to roll back, huh? Alright, game over, Lynx. Oh yeah. Now do a kick and call it a day right there. We call it a day. Well. What I have to say for Asuma himself is that, yeah. He could deal with all of those three. Even, even though it's been some time since I've been playing with him. And therefore, I wouldn't be that efficient. I liked to play a long before, but since I haven't been playing it that much and played other level 10 characters that I have right now, then then I kind of then I kind of have forgotten in a way how I could play in. There are a lot of back attacks that actually help catch people, but I can also do upper that also works similarly with a back attack to actually catch people from trying to do a rangey attack, and therefore I can approach them that way. While the other attacks are really meant to make them tense at mid to close range. That's what all of these other attacks are. But well, that was that reward and that was that video with Azuma. And I will perhaps plan to continue some more gameplays with level 10 Azuma. Including perhaps the Impulse plus Naginata Flight Build. Which gives him a full set of shadow abilities that he can uh, throw out at the opponent. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this other level 10 squad video while we focus on Asuma himself. Now, it wasn't like a fancy looking squadding by Asuma video that that we did not accomplish for today, but maybe in the other videos, maybe. So again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video with Asuma and also his buddies at level 10. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button to show the support. And if you're new and enjoy my overall content, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll become a part of the Boston Modern community right here. And one last thing to say, something special and it's about to slide by again. Have a small look.
Den är er rigga. När jag först har hört att det var en rullett så visste jag att det var rigga. Jag visste 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 att det var r